Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing well out there, but I really needed to share, um, I guess you could say a message, but it's basically a dream that I had now. Um, I do feel like what I'm about to say here is like a reoccurring problem here because I pulled cards on it trying to figure out because like what I seen, like I, I'm trying to figure out like why I, I was able to see this. But now I kind of get it because it's like I have an audience, um, like I have a channel. So whatever um, I say, what I'm about to say, hopefully um, you guys will like catch on to what I'm saying because I'm not going to be mentioning anyone's names. Um, but it's like if you follow along and if you've been watching readings for a long time, then you'll know who I'm talking about if you get what I'm saying. But I'm not going to be mentioning anyone's name. So um, just a heads up, don't. Trying to say this like in a, I'm not trying to say like in a mean way, but do not DM me or do not comment on who I'm talking about. Because if you follow readings, if you watch other readers, you will know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to mention their names, so don't ask me. Um, and it's the reason why. But um, disclaimer, I do not know these people here that I see in a dream. I know of them. But I do not know them personally. So I don't know what they got going on. But this is just what, what I see in my dream. Um, so I'm going to get into it in a few minutes. I just want to say those couple of things before I start the um, for what I'm about to say. To say. Um, and also, too, I don't have anything against these people. Like, I don't want to get on here and talk about this, honestly. But, because um, I've been thinking about it all day. I had to dream like this morning sometime. So I had time to like actually process it and try to figure out why I was being shown like what I seen because I have an audience and you guys probably watch these readers. So it's like, you know, I need to, um, to say something about it and hopefully you guys will um, catch on to what I'm saying. But, and if you don't, it's fine. I mean, eventually, um, it will come out to the light basically because whatever they're doing, it's kind of like it's hidden and it's like a problem that keeps coming up basically because I pulled cards on it and basically it's something that keeps coming up and I feel like um, it's like it needs to stop basically because it's like a problem that keeps occurring with people because um, they have followings as well, a l like larger followings than me. Um, so let me just get into the dream because I don't want to make this like too long. But, um, basically what I seen was, um, I had connected with these two popular readers. That's all I'm going to say. Popular readers here on YouTube. I had connected with them somehow. Um, but it's like they knew of me, basically. They knew of me. I didn't really know, like I knew of them, but I didn't know them personally. But it's like they kind of came to me as like, um, friends basically um, they wanted to connect with me and um, what I seen was basically it's like we were going on some type of trip right they um one of the women I'm gonna just say because it was two women basically one of the women was driving the other one um, she was in a passenger seat I'm in the back seat now one of them she was doing most of the talking like I actually seen her face now the other one, it was kind of funny because I didn't see her face. You know how, like, when you're having a dream about somebody, you don't see their face, but you know it's them, if that makes sense. Like, if you had a dream like that, you know what I'm talking about. Like, I didn't see her face, but I knew it was her. Um, She was very quiet, which was kind of strange. Like, she didn't say anything the whole ride, but I knew um she was there. Like, she was present in the dream, and she was in the passenger side of the car now. So the other one, I'm not really sure what was said in the car, but basically we were going somewhere and um, I don't think I really knew where we were going. It's kind of like they was um, taking me somewhere basically. But um, we finally get to the destination and it was a beach with people. Um, we got up to the beach and it was kind of funny because it's not like we had parked. <laughs> like we didn't, but she didn't park the car. It's kind of like she just drove up on the um, the beach and it was like people on the beach. Now, this was not like a pleasant um, dream at all. You know how you go to the beach and it's like people laughing? It won't none of that. And I wasn't even laughing or having a good time in a dream. 
So that can kind of tip, like, let you know what was going on. It was nothing fun. It was no good vibes at all. Like, it, it didn't even really seem like they were my friend, but it came to me as, like, trying to connect with me. Um, it's almost like they wanted something from me, but I'm not really sure what that was about. But, um, what else? So, yeah, we get to the beach or whatever, and I noticed, like, looking back on it, like, thinking about it, what I've seen, like, the people... It's almost like they would look kind of lost. Like, they weren't having a good time. You know how people, like, run around the beach, like, and it, it was dark. Like, not pitch black dark, but it was just dark. Like, it was not sunny at all. So, keep that in mind. Um, finally get to the beach. We get out or whatever. Somehow, we ended up on, like, a, like, we were having a picnic. And, um, I didn't see any food. But one of the, um, women, like, the main person, the one that I seen her face, um, she was doing some other stuff, y'all. Like, this is when it got kind of dark. I'm like, what in the world is going on here? Um, somehow, I guess she had, like, they had gave me something. I'm not really sure what, what it was, but I started getting, like, really drowsy. Um, like, almost like I was sleepy, but I had my phone. My phone was, like, a really, um, important thing in this dream, too. I had my phone, but whatever they had gave me, it's like I was kind of like going in and out of consciousness. You know how like someone black out and they wake back up? It was kind of like one of them things, but something had hit me. Like my intuition told me like, these are not good people. It's almost like I knew they were trying to do something to me. Like basically they, it seemed like they had um, planted this out basically like before they had picked me up. I'm guessing they picked me up. I don't know. I just ended up in a car. Um, so... Whatever it was, it's like they were um, waiting to do whatever they was going to plan on doing to me. But something had hit me and told me, like, get out of there. Like, come up with some type of escape plan. So, the only thing I could think of, because it's like I didn't know where I was at. But the main thing that I knew I remembered was, like, a restaurant or something. It's kind of weird. Like, and I know it's probably, like, all over the place. But this is how I can explain it. Because <laughs> I'm kind of shocked that I had seen this. But it's, like, something I feel like people are needing to um, hear. Cause it's like something that keeps popping back up. So I'm like, I don't know where this going to lead to. But, um, yeah. So the other woman, she's like, um, on the, on the blanket or whatever. I think I was like laying down, you know, how you like, like just laying down, um, on your phone or whatever. But it's like, I kept going in and out of consciousness, like blanking out, waking back up. But then like something told me like, Hey, Come up with some type of escape plan because, like, they're about to do something to you. Um, the other, um, see, one of them, the one I told you that was quiet, she wasn't really saying anything, which was kind of weird. But it's like she was there the whole time. But the other one, she was, like, the main person, like, interacting. I can't really remember what all she was saying, but she was doing her hands something like this. Like, she was doing something. She was trying to, like, get me to um participate in whatever she was doing not really sure what that was about but um yeah so i get on my phone it's like right when i felt like i needed to like get like leave there without them knowing it's like i was trying to come up with some type of escape plan to um get out of there to leave without them knowing but then it's like meantime i'm like in and out of consciousness like about to pass out or something like my remote skills was like going downhill um and then I started getting kind of nervous because I'm like I don't know what they're about to do it's almost like time was running out or something so um I get on my phone in uber like somehow <laughs> I put I had to pull up the uber app like I was trying to get an uber to leave the um this beach so I get on the app and it's like, I remember looking at the app, like on my phone, but for some reason I couldn't really like navigate the app. Like it didn't look like the regular Uber app. It was like some type of other stuff. I don't know what it was, but, um, it looked different. And for some reason I couldn't put in the, um, the address. I remember it. Cause like, I was like in some unknown place where they had took me, um, I couldn't remember the address. Somehow I remember the address or whatever. It was like going back to some restaurant or something. I don't know what that was about. But um, I finally, oh, okay, so apparently they wanted to take me to like another place, but it was like by the beach. 
it's almost like they wanted to take me like by the water or something. Not really sure what that was about either. But it was like both of them um, play a part in this. But like one of them was not saying anything. Like she was very quiet. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what that was about. But it's like I knew it was her. I knew it was her the whole time in a dream. So somehow I got out of there. I'm not really sure how. Um, I ended up going to like some type of spiritual shop where I seen a friend. And it makes sense why she was um, in that dream too. Because um, that's pretty much how, why I'm like right here recording this. Because I wasn't going to do it. I'm, I'm actually like not really scared. But it's just like why was I seeing that stuff? Because I don't know these people. But y'all do. So I don't know. Um, well, y'all know of them. We don't know them personally now. Um, or we don't know what they do um, behind the scenes, basically. But um, the whole dream was pretty much dark. Um, so yeah, going back to, to the spiritual shop or whatever. Um, basically, the friend um, that I seen in the dream, like she played as like some type of um, support, basically. Because like we had hugged or whatever. Um, and then I went on my way. But then like at the end of the dream, right? It's like I was making a YouTube <laughs> video about what I had seen and basically what I um what I had heard was like um be careful who you trust or okay so my phone had um well the light had died or whatever so finishing up this story well this dream that I had um basically at the end of the dream I had a, um well I it's like I was making a YouTube video about it and what I heard was like basically be careful who you trust and looking back at some of the things like in the dream I guess it's saying because it was other people involved too and I did I put cards on it too because like I was kind of confused um but basically it was about the community so it's like the um you know reader other readers or whatever now um these two women that I seen it it was very um specific now one of them I actually seen her face the other one like I said I knew it was her which was I didn't really understand that part. I knew it was her, but she was very quiet. She didn't say anything um, during the whole dream. So, yeah, it's like I was making a YouTube video about it, like telling people about what I had seen. And this is like the only reason why I'm even like mention it because like I have um, I have a community as well. But it's basically about the community. Like, be careful. Um, when it comes to like the readers and like the um, videos that you're watching. Um, Cause it seems like something that is hidden or like a reoccurring problem. So I'm not really sure if people are getting like personal readings from these people or what, I don't know what that was about, but only other people would know about what I'm talking about. Um, Cause like I said, I do not know these two women. I know of them. Um, I don't have any type of problem with them, honestly. Like I don't know them. But this is just like what I seen um, in my dream about them. So, okay, so that is basically uh, what I seen. And another disclaimer, um, I'm not saying that these people are bad people. Now, I'm not really sure why I seen what I seen, but I know what I seen. Like that was my experience. That's what I seen in my dream. And I can still remember and play it back in my head. So I do feel like, um, cause the moon card came out when I had pulled cards on it. So it's definitely something that's hidden here, but you know, what's hidden in the dark or what's done in the dark is going to always come to the light. So I'm not sitting here accusing anybody of doing anything. Um, uh, I'm just sharing with you guys, like what I seen. Cause this was like about the community and, um, like it was like other people involved too. So yeah, I hope that my dream, like what I talked about in dream helped somebody out. Um, I'm still thinking about it because, you know, um, other people probably could like interpret it better than me um, about the dream. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not going to um, talk about the subject anymore um, about what I've seen. I'm just going to leave it right here. So.